folks, this is Rob Hoja in the IBM Toronto lab and uh, been fortunate enough to get hold of Dale McInnes to talk to us about the enhancements in the area of availability in Wiper 2. Now behind Dale there you can see the great view of the, uh, the pond right outside the uh, Toronto lab and also it's uh, middle of the afternoon uh, just before the long weekend so people have already started to creep out and uh, there's Dale Afternoon, how are you doing Dale? Good. Excellent yourself. Good, good. Dale is uh, our architect for availability in uh, DB2 so availability encompasses what all does it encompass? Uh, high availability, disaster recovery backup and recovery as well as log management. It's okay. really any of the aspects uh, regarding availability. Okay. All right, Dale. Uh, I hear that in Wiper 2 there's a lot of good stuff when it comes to uh, high availability. Mm -hmm. Can you can you tell us what what people can expect to see in Wiper 2? Actually, we're we're really excited uh, about our Wiper 2 release. We've uh, We've done some, some amazing things with availability. We've got the uh, integrated HA feature, which is really taking a, a cluster manager and integrating it into the database engine. We're going to use that for both cluster failover as well as HAGR uh, takeover automation. Uh, and the second is we're adding a new feature to HAGR called Peer Window, uh, which will give us the ability to give our customers protection from uh, rolling failures. So those are the two big things that, that we have going forward um, in, in the Viper 2 release with respect to availability. So let's start with the first one, the um, integrated uh, high availability cluster manager. Um, as, as you're aware, uh, in version 8 uh, we included uh, a product called Tivoli System Automation uh, with our, our, our package and our media. Um, and with FixPack 12 we included that same product on the AIX operating systems. In Viper 2, uh, we've taken the Tivoli system automation product and completely integrated it into the database engine. Um, so as a, you don't even know that Tivoli system automation is there. When you install DB2, you will automatically get Tivoli system automation product installed for you. Um, that's one component of it. The second component is that the database will be cluster aware. So as you make changes to the configuration of the database that affects that cluster topology, uh, the database engine will notify the cluster manager for you on your behalf and ensure that the cluster topology is maintained. Um, obvious question would be uh, what about setup configuration? How is this going to be done? Um, again, we are providing a uh, command line interface. Uh, it will prompt you for a very few number of questions and based on your responses we'll be able to completely create and configure the cluster topology for you, the cluster domain. Some of the questions we'll be asking are things like uh, which NIC card and IP address is associated with this instance and what type of failover policy do you see uh, or, or would you like to have enforced? Could be an active passive, could be a mutual takeover, it could be a round robin. Uh, so there's a very few number of questions that we would ask you uh, and based on those answers we will create the, the domain for you. Now we are going to be including the Tivoli system automation product on the AIX and Linux platforms uh, for free for DB2's use. Uh, if there is a requirement for using Tivoli system automation for your applications, um, there is going to be a charge for the Tivoli license. Uh, but for out of the box DB2 high availability, it's all completely integrated uh, with, within the Viper 2 release. Okay, good. Um, Dale, what is this pair window thing that you talked about? Okay, so the integrated HA provides the cluster failover. The other component of it is automation of HADR failover. So now you can have, through a few clicks, uh, be able to automatically failover or automate the failover of the HADR uh, system. One of the enhancements we made to HADR was something called peer window. Um, a number of our customers were concerned about protection from a rolling failures where uh, you would lose your network connection between the two systems and then your primary would go down, in which case 
there was going to be a data loss situation because it was this rolling failure. So we introduced something called Peer Window. Uh, and what it does is it allows us to have the primary block for a certain period of time, which is configurable, uh, to ensure that um, the two systems stay consistent for this time. And during this time, you are able to bring the standby online as a primary and start servicing your clients and have the comfort of having no data loss. So that's our peer window feature. Um, it is optional. It's off by default. Uh, however, if you want to enable it, you will be able to do so in a completely configurable time period you to block on the primary uh, so that you can have things such as automation take over uh, and do the takeover command for you on the standby and have that comfort level of knowing that there was no data loss. Okay, great. Um, any closing thoughts? Uh, closing thoughts, we're really excited about this. Um, the beta has an early drop of the Tivoli system automation. Uh, there's going to be a beta refresh later uh, this summer, uh, which will have an updated version of Tivoli, Tivoli system automation. Um, the current beta does not have the automated HDR failover enabled. Uh, that will be coming again with the refresh. But other than that, we're excited to hear everyone's feedback on, on what they think of our, our integrated HA solution, uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll get some positive comments. Sounds great. Thank you very much, Dale. Great. Thank you.